Welcome to Winning STL, where we have conversations about how St. Louis can best compete and win in the battle for talent, jobs, growth, and equity. Winning STL is presented by Purina, who creates richer lives for pets and the people who love them, and is proudly called St. Louis home since 1894. Today, we're at Spark St. Louis, a co-working space located in Ballpark Village. Joining me today is Steve Ewing, lead singer of The Urge, the Steve Ewing Band, the Steve Ewing Duo, and Master Blaster, as well as the owner of Steve's Hot Dogs. Steve, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So, Steve, uh, not many people are able to have a successful career in the music business, and not many people are able to have a successful career as a restaurateur. Somehow, you've managed both. So, (laughs) how how have you done that? Uh, We need to know. Well, uh, um, it's one of those things where you have to be married to it. So with music, it's the same thing. You have to be married to it. It's like something you know you're going to do. You're going to get into it, and you're going to stay in it, and you're going to work hard at it until things start to happen. So same with same with food, same with owning a restaurant. There's kind of no easy way to do it. You just have to get married to it um, and just dig into it and try to be creative. Um, and eventually something starts to happen. Something starts to like click, and then you get some, some collaborators and – Start to move on up, start to do that way. So it sounds like there's a grind in it, no matter what, which of these two avenues you're choosing. Definitely a grind. That's definitely the word, yep. A lot of viewers of this will know the history of The, of the Urge and your music history. When did you think, yeah, I, I might be able to make a career out of this? Pretty much right away. I was in high school, and the first couple of shows we did with the band, I was 17 years old, and the just getting that response from people and... You know, even making a little bit of money, which wasn't much, but just nice. I was hooked right away, and I knew it was something that I wanted to do. And, you know, right out, to, out of the high school, we pretty much hit the road. So we, we made a couple of records, hit the road for a little while, and I knew that there was something I wanted to do. So I really poured everything in my life into touring and playing music and making records. So, yeah. And what, uh, what did you learn about the music business other than it's hard? Well, I learned that out of the box that... Artists or artists get paid last, <laughs> um, and that it is a grind, but it's, it's something like once you pour into it, and once you get that thing back, um, I learned that it was something that was going to keep fueling me to do it. In other words, it was going to give me fulfillment in life. Um, and after making those couple major uh, label records, um, it was it was something that like I just I want to keep doing this, you know. And you build this thing over time with all these people, just not just in your city, but across the globe, and they just keep feeding you. So to me, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to do this forever um, in one way or another. And I was lucky enough to, to make those records on a larger scale and right. to build that crowd and to have them still be here with us. So it's awesome. Well, I have to tell you, uh, I was not in St. Louis when you first came up and, and got big here. And it was at a reunion show. I had a friend say, oh, you got to go see The Urge. You got to go see The Urge. So we went and saw you, don't ask me the year, right, at, right. at the pageant. And the place was nuts. The crowd was over the top. You guys were great. They were chanting every lyric of every song, which I did not know. And I could see why that would be pretty appealing and, and something you wouldn't want to give up. Yeah, it's it's like that every time. And every show we play, whether it's big or small, you know, when you get that response, it's like it's fuel. So you just like it just keeps you going. It's amazing. So obviously, you know, you you kept working in music even after the urge, and you're continuing to do it today. Mm-hmm. But at some point, you said maybe one night after show when you were hungry and said, "Yeah, <laughs> there's another avenue I'd like to pursue here." Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, the the food thing happened. Um, I moved to L.A. for a little while. Okay. Um, so we signed a deal with Virgin Records, and I moved out there just to kind of be involved with label and um, my wife and I, we, we enjoyed it out there. We came back to St. Louis and I wanted to bring some of the street culture that was happening there here. And what I noticed is we, you know, we were playing a lot of shows is that no one was doing late night food at the venues. So the original idea for doing hot dogs was, Hey, let's take some street culture and put it right exactly where we are. So like we're playing a show, there should be some food where we are. So we, I bought a cart, Right. Everybody thought I was crazy. Like, what are you doing that for? I'm like, well, there's no food. There's nobody serving food out here. So we bought a cart, 
took it to some shows, and it did really well. Even places where it was illegal to do it, we took it just to see, and people were hungry. And people were hungry, <laughs> so um, I'm like, well, let's see if we can do this in a brick and mortar. So it took me a minute to find a spot that I liked. We found a spot on the hill. That was my first location. Right. And, uh, man, people took to that, like, pretty fast, pretty right away. So, like, okay, I think we have something here. Let me ask, what do you think, this is maybe the harder question, what, mm-hmm. what in St. Louis holds us back? And, and what what can we do collectively, whether that's politically or whether right. that's a business community, uh, whether it's people watching this? What is it that we can do? What holds us back? Um, well, I think from my perspective as a, as a business owner, what I would love to see is a more more robust online business registration system. OK. No, words, tell, tell me more. If I'm if I'm coming from, you know. Chicago and I want to come to St. Louis and open up a new business in the city. Okay. It would be great to just get online, fill out a bunch of forms, and then it goes out to folks that come out to your inspections and then you're good to go. Yeah. Okay. And so that would be awesome. So the process of getting a business going in the a city. Little antiquated maybe in that yes. in that way. Yes. And so I would love to see that. It would I think we would have a lot of businesses come in a lot faster and fill up a lot of these vacancies if that mystery was out of it, and if it was a little bit easier to get, uh, so to making get it going. easier for people to be entrepreneurial and invest, yeah, in our not just maybe the city, but maybe maybe sure. throughout the region as well. And I, I think you know, I'm sure it's challenging, you know, and um, but I would love to see that in the future. Um, that it would just the, the process of getting your business going and started here would be easier, and you know, maybe even getting a little uh, a little help and. You know, getting your business off the ground. That's okay, I agree. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's hard enough as it is, right? I mean, it's, it'd be nice to find a certain support network. Yep, out there. some resources to get your business going. You know, yeah. Well, speaking of investments and new things, mm-hmm. uh, I can't. I can't think of something that's been more impactful than than City Park in a oh, while yeah. in St. Louis. Yeah. And you are one of the founding local restaurants there. Yes. So tell us about what that experience was like. That's pretty awesome. Um, we had. Really kicked around the idea of moving into some sports venues, but we didn't know how to do it. Like, how do we do this? You know, who do we talk to? How do we do sure. this? Right. So this this turned out to be like a dream come true. They actually came to us, and they were they were looking for. They knew they were looking for local food, but they didn't know who. So what they did was they actually put it out to social media and said, "Who would you guys like to see uh, inside the the stadium for food?" And we were the overwhelming favorite. Eventually, they, they formally came and said, hey, we'd love to have you guys in the stadium. Are you interested? And do you think you could do food at this volume, at this speed? And it was, like, perfect for us. You know, Speed? You're like, I, we, we know speed. <laughs> we can do that, yes. <laughs> What's next on the food front? I, I think I saw something that you, you might be looking on Del Mar. Sure. Um, tell us about that. So we do have a brand new location coming. And what's called the Maker's District um, on Del Mar. So we'll have Steve's Hot Dogs along with the Fountain on Locust, uh, Alpha Brewing. We'll have their distillery there. And then Nixta, Ben Perima's Nixta will be next door. And then we also have a brick and mortar for our Steve's Meltdown concept, which is the grilled cheese concept, which we've been running as a ghost kitchen. So we will have a brick and mortar in the city foundry coming up soon. Do, do, you, do you sleep at all? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. I sleep. I wonder. <laughs> well, I, I have to ask you this. You've been part of a lot of probably very memorable concerts. Mm-hmm. Is there one that you've performed in, in St. Louis that you look back and say, man, that one was special in my, for whatever the reason, that one sticks out? Um, yeah, definitely. We, we, we did a show at, um, it was called Celebrate St. Louis. And it was maybe like 10 years ago. Okay. And, uh, they took all of Keener Plaza, that entire area, and opened it up to the public, and we did a free urge concert, and there was about 10,000 people out there, and it was just perfect weather, perfect night, and I, when I looked out, I could see 10,000 people doing this. It was oh incredible. It was, in, in your hometown. Right here right in my down, hometown, yeah. right downtown. It was awesome. Well, Steve, look, you've been very generous with your time today. Really enjoyed it. I knew it would be fun, and, and it was. I want to thank you so much. Thank for you very much. Yep. And we really appreciate it. Thank you, sir.